What's up guys? This is Austin with Hot Rod Heaven. I'm here with Ken today. We've been talking to Ken about doing this car for a very long time. It's got to be one of my favorites that we've done on the channel so far. It kind of reminds me a little bit of these toy cars I played with growing up, muscle machines, if you guys remember those. Ken, thank you so much for doing this, man. Oh, you're welcome, Austin. Tell me a little bit about the car that we have here. Well, you got a 1971 Camaro. I've had this car since 2009. Actually, this car was back half on horsepower TV back in the day. So I bought this car. It was nothing like this, of course. Everything on the car was yellow. I mean, I'm talking everything. The, really? The bumpers, the grill, the they, trim, the interior, everything was yellow. They went crazy with it. But I bought the car because I knew what I, what I wanted to do with it. And since then it's transformed and evolved over the years, you know, to what it is today. What kind of made you want to get this Camaro and, and kind of tinker with it and build it? I've always been in the cars. I since have sold it, but I built a 69 Camaro from scratch into okay. a Pro Touring back then, because Pro Touring was real big. Yeah, huge. So I built that from the bottom up. So I was more into that, but then I had buddies that all had blower cars. So I said, well, I got to get a blower car. Yeah, is it the Outlaw Garage guys? Outlaw Garage. Well, yeah. we formed this kind of after that. There's three of us that formed the Outlaw Garage, and, and hell, we have, I don't want to say members, because we're not a club. Yeah. We're just kind of a group of guys and gals For sure. that have a lot of fun. I mean, we have affiliations from you know, New Hampshire, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Missouri. They're from everywhere. Everywhere. And it's cool, too. At Turkey Rodway, and you guys seem to all get together and kind of take over the place, which is really cool to see. I love seeing all the pro streets driving down, cruising. It's, it's really such a moment to see that. We had 120 cars, I believe, this last time, and it's growing. It's going to be even bigger this year. Yeah, that's so sweet. They have made us a feature at the Turkey Rod Run, which we're pretty proud of. Yeah, so we work with them in order to you know, attract more people and have a lot more fun. For sure, man. So you said that you had a couple buddies that had some blower cars, and you are like, I had to get one. I was always a first-gen guy, and um, I said, well, you know, I've done my first-gen, so let's... Let's do a second gen, because I like the second gen. Sure. And this is a real split bumper car. Uh, it was a real Z28 car, actually. Oh, wow, okay. And it's actually split bumper in the back, too. Oh, so, that's uh, freaking awesome. It's uh, on both sides. But um, yeah, I, I really enjoy it, and it's evolved to this. And this little graphic on the hood here, uh, that was done by Chris Cruz up in the land, and that's paying homage to my first motor, which didn't last too long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, Ron built me this motor. It's you know big M block, got a uh, Cali's Magnum, crank got a lot of good parts diamond pistons oliver rods uh jessel rockers shaft rockers it's a complete serpentine system because i had to have air conditioning i mean you know it gets hot in this car of so course. it's got a star vacuum pump mechanical vacuum pump and it's a bds 1471 blower with two 1050 carbs on it they're basically quick fuel carbs and that the adapter plate you see on there to put the big and ugly on it i actually developed that did you really i did Wow, uh, man. I was the first one to have one of those plates. I developed it with a fellow out in California, and that was the very first one. And from there, it, it evolved into everybody having it. Yeah, that. it blew up. So other than that, you know, it's got you know full power brakes, power steering. Uh, right now, it's only at about uh, six pounds of boost. Okay. I'm driving it on the street. Yeah. I can run pump gas in it. But if I want to boost it up, and you know, we can take it to wherever you want to take it. How much horsepower do you think? this is currently making or what it it really could make currently it's probably you know anywhere from a thousand to eleven 1, hundred okay you know which is plenty yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah definitely plenty you need a lot of power to turn the big 33 and 22 and a half tires on the yeah, back of this car yeah, um so that sucks up a lot of horsepower when you're trying to turn it but yeah. it's got a stage five FTI transmission in it with a uh, 4500 stall Pro Mod converter. It it gets up and goes. It Heck keeps yeah. it keeps me. They always say if you're not scared when you're driving it, then it ain't powerful. Yeah. You know, but yeah, this is this is crazy, man. I'm sure it's such a sight to see too when you're driving it. This big blower sticking out of the hood. I've never ridden in a blower car, so I'm excited to see what that is kind of like. What kind of exhaust are you running on the car? It's a Spintech exhaust. Actually, if we looked under there, you wouldn't even see a muffler, but there's actually a muffler in it. So it's all four inch oval pipe. It's not that long, but yeah. it's on there. <laughs> what are the brakes that you're running on the car? They're all aerospace brakes. And it's kind of funny because you got a Willwood Master yeah, there. Yeah, that's have what you. I was kind of wondering. Well, the wheels are all RC component. These are actually chrome. I don't want to polish wheels. I couldn't get the back ones chromed. I did chrome the beadlock ones. Okay, nice. But uh, they will, will not chrome the wheels. So okay. I, I do have to polish those. 
33 by 22 and a half tires, 33 okay. inch by 22 and a half, and they're 15 by 15 rims. What drives it is a 430 gear, all Mosier, 35 spline axles. Well, the suspension is pretty much all TRZ with UA1 adjustable, double adjustable shocks on the nice. front. Back is all competition engineering with JRI Pro Mod shocks on the back okay, with nice. pack springs, all four linked. And uh, Tim Chris, the coach chassis, has set this car up. Yeah, he set up all the suspension and everything so and squared it up so Perfect. it's all ready to go. Okay, the seats, believe it or not, are factory seats. Really? Yeah, they are the uh, factory seats. They're redone. They're not totally what they were. Yeah. There's different foam in it. And, okay. And they're, they're bolstered a little bit more and what have you. But yeah, they're just recovered or redone by uh, Howard Cruzy up there, a complete auto upholstery, did those. The interior is fabricated, as you can see, the whole dashboard's fabricated. Yeah. I think I have every gauge you can possibly have in a car. <laughs> the piece in the middle there is my fuel tech management system. Okay, uh, got it. That's a screen, it's basically a dashboard too, but I can do just about anything with that with the motor. Tell me a little bit about these, because I'm not super familiar with blower cars and i noticed a lot of them have the different levers on that can you right. explain that to me a little bit i think i said earlier it's a stage five fti okay it, the transmission's actually good up to 1800 to 2000 horsepower which is overkill for this car yeah but i don't want to be replacing transmissions yeah better be safe. Sorry, <laughs> right for sure. that is a kill duff shifter and basically it's just a shifter for the three-speed fti transmission gotcha first one pull back for second second one pull back for third Ah. And the last one over there is the slamming up in the neutral. But it's got, uh, you know, it's got a full trans brake on it. It's got the line lock on it. Obviously a quick disconnect steering wheel on it, which helps you get in and out of it when you're old like me. <laughs> the <laughs> cage is wrapped with uh, carbon fiber as well as the dash is wrapped with carbon fiber. It's an eight point cage. It was certified at one time, but it's obviously expired. Last okay. time I took this to the drag strip, I was with the, the older motor. Okay. And that's when I ended up with a new motor because before I got to the end of the track, uh -huh. it took a crap. And that's, and that's why we have that painted on the hood right there. And that's there. why we have that painted on the hood right there. <laughs> Well, heck yeah, man. I say we, we get the cameras in the car. I'm excited to ride in this thing. And, I'm and excited go for to have you ride in it. Let's do it, man. Let's okay. go. What a view that is right there. That is crazy. <laughs> Holy moly. I'm just getting, I don't know how you drive it. I just stare at that thing the whole time, man. Is this the first time you've ridden it? Yeah. Really? I can't, I literally can't stop staring at it. <laughs> <laughs> that's chrome. Nobody else has a chrome. Yeah, that's freaking beautiful. I'm like, oh! <laughs> was not expecting that one. Oh man, I'm so giddy. <laughs> this thing is awesome. I'm sure you've ridden in a lot of fast cars. Yeah, yeah, I have. This is, but this is so cool. Like, seeing this, like, this is, like I said, when I was growing up, playing with the muscle machines, like, now to be able to ride in one of those cars, basically, is such, such a cool feeling, dude. Oh man, thank you again for doing this, dude. You got it, man. I feel like a little kid. <laughs> I do every time I drive it. <laughs> this car you said has a thousand plus horsepower. You're wearing flip flops right now. <laughs> I love it, man. I'm sure your grandkids love driving in this thing too, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, they talk about Uncle Frank and Uncle Charlie. Yeah. And we go to car shows. That's so cool, dude. It's cool that you can kind of bring them into this world and show them what it's like that's the more you keep the younger generation in the more this is gonna last you know which is awesome sponsoring this video what they did was hooked up ken with a little care package here and also some gum out regain 
What this does is it cleans the entire fuel system, removes carbon deposits, cleans fuel injectors and carburetors to help maximize fuel economy and improve horsepower. I use this in my car all the time, so it's just, it's a great product. And Ken, also, thank you so much for letting me do this, dude. I know we've You're been welcome, talking about Austin. it for a long time. For a long time. So, dude, I'm so happy Probably almost a year. I know, it really has, so. I'm so pumped on this and if you guys want to see more content like this, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.